Hello guys, Jadu here, and can I lick your Reese's Buttercup? So anyways, I'll tell you a story of an emblem I made. I wrote, I put the letters, 16, uh, put the numbers, I'm sorry. I'm just a kid, I don't know much better. So I wrote the number, 69, but put some spaces in between, so I put in a single boob. But the problem with that boob was there's only one, and the nipples were out of place, so... Yeah, what made it funny was that it was I did not mean to do that, so... Yeah. And my reasoning for making that was, so... When people with girls that do just have one boob, they will be like, Whoa, that kid know, knows what's happening. He understands, and they're like, yeah. Total respect. Yep. Also, we're playing, alright, Axe Sugary, um, he, I know him from a different school, and we were playing zombies a few days ago on Kino, um, we were playing catch with frag grenades, and he tossed me a cooked one, I threw it at zombies, I got the double kills on them, then we tried again, but he cooked it a little bit longer, and I died. And I tried to repeat my same actions. It's it seemed like a good idea at the time, but we all know I died. Um, anyways, you'll hear some signature catchphrases I have. Like, oh my god, I ain't. And, um, yeah, and I often say noob. See? I say, screw fire, I'm walking, and I'm gonna kill somebody. And watch this. See? I'm an objective player. See? And I uh, get killed from behind right now. Headshot. I think I help people because I have a magnet that, that leads to my head. So everybody gets headshots and everybody's happy. Now this... Um, I posted this because see how we're losing right now we kind of come back and I start getting better kill streaks so what this really um, the true meaning behind this is that if you play the objective on an objective game type you can come back and win and get awesome scores but if you're one of those people that just play it just to get high kill death ratios um, you will not do well because if you have if you're in our position right now where they have two flags and we just have one um you your KD won't go pretty good and here's a topic I want to talk about is people that only care about their KD um people that only care about it don't really see the point of playing a game they're just trying it just to see who's better and if you're K if that person's KD they will get really mad about it and those are the kind of people I want to try to avoid no none of the people of the X-Clan are <coughs> sorry I, I only cough when I tell lies um, anyways here's my point on that um, what's the point of having a high ratio if you lose the game um, I just don't think it'd matter, but if you get a higher KD and civil win, that's a bonus. Oh yeah, um, there was this retarded kid called Ralph, which he made two commentaries, so he thought it was a good idea to pause it, so you'll see a round of pauses. So yeah, don't worry, I got him back by teabagging him in front of everybody. Yeah, he showed some resistance but I conquered through watch this kill hip protection is so bad in this game um, that it helps a lot anyways back on my topic um, kill death ratio doesn't really matter in this game since a new game is going to come out um, in November so I really still see no point in trying to get it up now I mean 
Sure, I like to be good at the game, but... Why not just try to win? And I think right now I'm the most... The best person that likes to... Wait, um... I'm the only person in X-Clan that actually plays the objective. Oh yeah, and... If we're ever in a duel commentary with x Whooper, x Soap, or x Sugary, and we're playing it in an objective game type, I'll say, you're not playing the objective. Go play it, you douche. And, um... They, they'll laugh, and, um... Everybody will be happy. I get a little campy here, but that's because we're we're on the right track, baby. Because I was born this way. Um, I hope people don't try to copyright this. Go away! I'm doing my business. Axe Soap and Axe Whooper try to walk through the door, but I told them who's the boss. Um. Yeah, and. Right now, I get a good kill streak going, and it's probably the best one I had for a little while. Um, yeah, there's this game I've really been getting into, and it's called Red Dead Redemption. Well, I already have it, but I'm starting to get back into it. It's really fun. For those who have it, you can grab a few friends and start kicking ass online with friends watch this watch this headshot revenge motherfucker I'm just kidding um also um there's this game called Dead Rising 2 it's really fun me and Axe Sugary play it all the time and no matter what happens we always have fun playing it and that's what games are meant to be just for fun not competitiveness um that brings me to another topic a few games have certain flaws but what people what I've noticed is people only care about the flaws and they only complain about that here's my thinking um it's just a game nothing's perfect and if you think you can do better um go ahead but not all games are going to be perfect, and every game is going to have a lot of faults and pros, but it's the way you handle it that makes it better for you. Also, what makes a good game is no matter what game you get, you always keep coming back to that, to that game. That's what a real game is. Like, I like playing Black Ops and all, but... I like Modern Warfare 2 better just because when you unlock like an attachment such as extended mags, you feel more accomplished because you actually earned it instead of just having to buy it. Here's a cool moment. Here's a wise veteran move by me. Yep, I'm obviously a veteran at this game. Switch to the FAMAS. Oh yeah, there was this FAMAS patch on the PS3 that made it... um. Not as good as it was, but honestly, I don't see a difference. Look at that. Perfect. So, yeah, that patch didn't really do much. So. Get out! Okay. I do not know what's happening, so. Yeah. I killed these guys. Got a nice little 850 points. Um, there you see that guy with the emblem 69. My emblem was better. Had a uni boob in it. Not most people do have those in theirs. Uh, now we're starting making our comeback, and I get an awesome kitty, which is 22 and 15. I already told you that. And this is X J Dude signing out and saying, I ain't.